Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a horizontal design problem and in particular, we're gonna be talking about some basic curve elements. Uh, here's what the question says. A proposed horizontal curve has the following characteristics. We see that it gives us a PI station and degree of curvature, a deflection angle, and then it asks us the station of the point of tangency is most nearly what? We see our four options available to us in stations. All right. Uh, so the first off, you know, it's worth mentioning what the heck is this plus, you know, what does it mean? Well, a station is 100 foot. So one plus zero zero is actually a hundred. Not sure where that came from. Not sure who started it. Haven't done the research, but just FYI, that, that's what that means. Uh, and then if we're looking for some reading material in the FE and the PE manuals, uh, in the FE, the latest and greatest that we have is 10.2. That's the version. Uh, we're going to be looking in civil engineering, so I'm just going to write C-I-V-I-L-E-N-G for short, civil engineering. This is going to be in the horizontal curves section, so H-O-R-I-Z, curves, there's that. And uh, also page 301, so there's that. And then if we're looking in the PE manual, uh, we're going to be in version 1.1, that's going to be the version number for that guy. Uh, we're going to be in chapter five, where that comes from, and then transportation, a transpo, uh, and horizontal design, where we're going to be H. All right, and then uh, page 271. So there's that. Uh, and when you look on those pages, you're going to find something interesting. I'm going to do my best to draw a sketch here. I'm no Picasso, but we're going to do our best here. Um, and, and you're going to see a figure on those pages. Highly recommend you go take a look at it. They worked really hard to make that, uh, that graph, and I'm hoping that I can make a little bit more sense of it here. Uh, but you end up having something like this. Let's pretend that you have a road, right, that has a curve. Okay. Uh, this line right here is a tangent line and this line, let's see if I can do this. Oops. This guy would also have a line. So let's see if I can do it. That's close enough. All right. And then, uh, if, if you're trying to picture it, you know, here's your edge of curb, back of curb. So there's that. Uh, and th where this intersects, this is called the PI. We have a PT right here where the curve begins. That's where that is. Uh, this is the PT. I'm actually going to erase my back of curb lines because it kind of gets a little messy. Uh, this right here, the distance between your PC and your PT along the curve is L, length of your curve. Uh, this angle right here from the PI to the PT, or even here, actually. Uh, those are the same. This is your I or delta. I or delta, it depends on what manual you're in. That's a, a delta symbol there. And this is actually given to us in the problem. We have uh, 12 degrees and 22 minutes and 17 seconds. So that's what that is. And then, uh, let's see, so the length right here uh, from the PT or sorry from the PC to the PI this is T and it's also the same on the other side this is uh, this is mirroring pretend that it's mirroring I'm not the best drawer here uh, and then we have sort of perpendicular to these tangent lines you're gonna have another line that comes down again not a good sketch you have another line that comes down this right here is also that I or delta okay so that's what that is and then uh, if we were to go 100 foot along this curve right let's go ahead and pretend that we're traveling along the curve 100 foot this right here is that uh, degree of curvature that it talks about and this is D that's what they call it in the manual this is our 12 degrees that it gives us and this would be a hundred foot along the curve so uh, hopefully that kind of clears some things up. Again, you know, a napkin sketch at best, but 
it's good to go back over the uh, uh, manuals and, and look at the, the graphs that it gives us or, or diagrams that it gives you and, and understand it because that's the only stuff that you're going to have uh, on the exam along with the, the green book or whatever material that, uh, that you're taking for your depth uh, section if you're taking the PE. Um, all right, so for, man, or for uh, formulas, our PC plus L, that's going to be our PT, right? We know that. Uh, the length of our curve plus the PC station, that will give us the station at the PT point of tangency. Or there's another formula here that it gives us the PC, so the station of the point of curvature is equal to the point of intersection, PI, right, uh, minus T, okay? Well, we know the PI, okay? So that's good. We need to solve for the T. The T right here can be R uh, tangent of i over 2 or it can be lc over 2 cosine i over 2 and that's in the fe that that last part but we don't have the long curve or that we don't have that lc uh so we're not we're not going to worry about it we we can solve for the r though uh this r is actually going to be 5 7 2 9 point Five eight, and the PE uses 0 0.6, not 0 0.58, but we're going to use 0 0.58 just to be more particular. Uh, and that's over D, so the, the degree of curvature. That's what we're going to uh, put in there. And so when we do that, this is equal to 12 degrees, right? When we solve for that guy, you end up with 477.465. So we can plug that into our T right up top there. T is equal to 477.465 times the tangent of I over 2, which remember is 12 degrees, uh, 22 minutes. I think you can see where I'm going here. 17 seconds over 2. Put that in half. Uh, and hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at Civil Engineering Academy, keep it up. You can do this. If you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources uh, that will help you, help, you, sorry, help you pass the FE and the PE exams the first time. So with that said, this T ends up being something like, let's see, 51.5. Uh, seven four eight six eight and so now that we have this uh, T value that fifty one point seven four eight six eight uh, we can actually plug that into our original equation right here this PC equals PI uh, minus T we can plug that in right there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, over here on the left here so PC Right, that's what we're solving for is equal to the PI. So the station of the PI in the problem is 15 plus 32.93. So that's what that is. And then we subtract out that T value that we solved for. And that's going to be 51.74868. Okay. Remember, station is just 100 foot. And so whenever you add these guys together, or subtract them rather, uh, you end up with 14 plus 81.18 so that's that and uh, and so if we're looking in our answer bank it looks like B is going to be our most nearly answer and so I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time